held a gunpoint by two men who busted into their home while they were sleeping. And this happened in an upscale Fort Worth neighborhood. Our Marianne Martinez live now in Fort Worth where the husband was taken to a second location. That's right, Kaylee. The family says all they wanted was cash. So they actually brought the husband to this bank where they forced him to withdraw money from an ATM while the family was back at the house with the second gunman. My husband and I woke up to two men standing by our bed with a gun. It was just before 4 a.m. when Cynthia Brostock and her husband woke up to demands of cash. The gunmen ransacked their house in an upscale neighborhood near TCU. Prostack's daughter slept through the whole thing. We're very lucky, you know. I mean, it could have ended up much worse for us. Eventually, one of the gunmen took Cynthia's husband to a bank at Hewlin and Bel Air to get cash and drove him back. The whole ordeal lasted about a half hour. No one was hurt. Police say the Prostack's back door was unlocked and their alarm disabled, making their house an easy target. I mean, they specifically told us that it was our cars in the front that made them choose our house. And they told us that if our door, if they had tried a door and it was locked, they wouldn't have broken in the door. Cynthia describes the robbers as being in their late teens or early 20s. She says one was aggressive and probably would have shot him. But the second was, in her words, kind and respectful. They need to be taken off the streets, but do their whole lives need to be ruined? No. No. Now, they made off with about $4,000 in cash and a little bit of jewelry. They are still on the run, and police say they will patrol that area uh, a little extra in the next coming days. Hopefully, somebody will be caught. Reporting live in Fort Worth, Marianne Martinez, CBS 11 News.